My name is Frank Kroman and I'm a software manager at Panasonic Avionics. I've been involved with PSP since 1997, uh, since the beta version of PSP 3. Uh, contributed uh, several extensions and done some core work. And in my daily work, uh, the, manage, the team I'm managing, we're using PHP as our core platform for the software development we're doing at Panasonic. The challenges I have developing software and content that goes on aircraft is the aircraft is flying around for maybe 16 hours at the time, uh, up to 500 computers on board and there's no sysadmin. So we need to be able to provide software that is fully tested uh, and integrated with all the features that are on board. And we also need to have mechanisms, uh, offline mechanisms to get reports back from the aircraft uh, when there are issues uh, related to the software or the content that's on board the aircraft. I can see C-Ray as, um, as the tool to use for, for the debugging and introspecting of, of what's going on in the applications and uh, reducing the time from discovery of issues to actually re resolution. It could reduce the time by uh, providing the information faster, easy, uh, available in the environment, so you don't have to go scatter through uh, log files and, uh, and really hunt for the information because it makes it very easy to make it available as part of the um, development environment that you're in, or, or actually even the production environment when you can deploy it on, on your production servers and get access to some of that information. As a manager of developers, the issues that we often see um, kind of relates to code ownership. Who wrote the code? Uh, who is now maintaining it? Um, and how do we build applications that the team as a whole can feel responsible for and everybody can uh, chip in and make it easy to maintain those applications no matter who wrote the code originally. Uh, when you have a large code base with a lot of developers, uh, that's typically something that, that you see that when an issue arises, a developer would say, well, I didn't write that, so I can't fix that. Uh, go find the person who did write that. But with tools like Z-Ray, it might be possible to uh, kind of short circuit some of those and actually get the developers who are available to look at it to spend the time and do the debugging uh, without having to spend a lot of time doing so. Again, my name is Frank Croman, and what I've seen about Z-Ray uh, so far, it looks promising and it's a cool tool that I'm looking forward to playing more with.